Looks promising. Yes, definitely early Akaviri stonework here. We've got to get this bridge down. These pillars must have something to do with it. Yes, these are Akaviri symbols. Okay, let's see. There's a symbol for king and warrior, and of course, the symbol for dragon. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing downward at the bottom. We must be getting close. We should proceed cautiously. We should be careful. There's no telling what traps and wards the ancient blades may have set. We'd best be careful in here. Try turning all the pillars to that symbol. Whatever you did, it worked. Let's see what those old blades left in our way. Wait! Why are you stopping? We should be careful here. See these symbols on the floor? Mm. Esbern's right. Look like pressure plates. Be careful. We'll cross once it's safe. Here's the Blood Seal, another of the lost Okaviri arts, no doubt it's triggered by, well, blood. Your blood, Dragonborn. Look here. You see how the ancient blades revered Riemann Cyrodiil? Amazing, eh? To be standing at the very entrance to Skyhaven Temple itself. That's all. Place appears to be a shrine. the BFFB reinvasion. You should have the honor of being the first. There's no telling what we might find inside.
fascinating. Original Akaviri bar release, almost entirely intact. And me, see how the Akaviri craftsmen were beginning to embrace the more flowing Nordic style. We're here for Alduin's wall, right, Esbern? Yes, of course. Let's see what's up ahead. Look, here is Octavian. This panel goes back to the beginning of time, when Alduin and the Dragon Cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebelled against their Dragon Overlords, the legendary Dragon War. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is falling from the sky. The Nord Tom's masters of the voice are arrayed. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that one over here? Ah, patience. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory, mythic symbol. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to Cyprus. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all the new of Alduin. So we're looking for a shout, then. Damn it. You ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The prophecy which brought the Akaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they need their ancient mission fulfilled as the last dragonborn contends with Aldrin at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. I know the prophecy by heart. Once all blades knew it, when misrule takes its place at the eight corners of the world, when the brass tower rocks and time is reshaped, when the thrice blessed fail and the red tower trembles, when the dragonborn ruler loses his throne and the white tower falls, when the snow tower lies sundered, kingless, bleeding, the world eater wakes and the wheel turns upon the last dragon ball. Well, I'm gonna look around some more. See what the old blades left for us. Yes, yes, that's an excellent idea. Who knows what other ones the treasures we might discover.
Sky, guard you. Wind, guide you. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? What I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Dragonborn, wait. Uh, forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. No, I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend. But its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. You weren't ready. You still aren't ready. But... Thanks to the Blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way.
you my understanding of the clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Use clear skies to open the way to Parthenax. Parthenax. 
Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? Yes, Vaza. You speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinvak with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. Evanar Balok, there are many hungers it is better to deny than to feed. Drechnin Akib, discipline against the lesser, aids in Kahnar, denial of the greater. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Hmm. Drem, patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my Thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it, if you are Dova King. way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Alduin Comate Teed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this thing? Yes, Alduin, Zembach, the elder brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? Mm, true, but Kostid, prophecy, tells what may be, not what should be. Kostid Salo Ak, just because you can do a thing, does not always mean you should. <laughs> Do you have no better reason for acting than destiny? Are you nothing but a plaything of Dez, of fate? Ha 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 ha! 
You have much to learn of the Dove, then. There is nothing else but philosophy to a Dova. It is no accident that we do battle with our Thum, our voices. There is no distinction between debate and combat to a dragon. Tinvak Loskra. For us, it is one and the same. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? But few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Hmm, yes and no. Viknus Nikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day, he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Tidkrent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to... Cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Croesus, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovakin. Your blood will show you the way. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Source, Dragon Blood. What would you ask of me? Look, Thum. Drem your look, greeting.
You are taking us somewhere warm. Jezargo only has so much room to carry things. Lead on, friend. Good to see Skyrim. I'm always available, should you need me. Archmage or not, my rules about books still stand. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand boy? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. What about... Wait, are you... Were you the one the Greybeards were calling? I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. I have a few things laying around that weren't worth adding to the collection. You may look through them. Until next time. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. All this knowledge might have been lost were it not for you. Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Somewhere up north, in the ice fields. He said he found some old Dwemer artifact, but, well, that was years ago. Ugh. Haven't heard from him since.
Dig, dwemer in the beyond. I'll know your lost unknown and rise to your depths. Elder Scrolls, indeed. The Empire, they absconded with them. Or so they think. The ones they saw. <laughs> the ones they thought they saw. I know of one. Forgotten. Sequestered. But I cannot go to it, not poor Septimus. For I, I have arisen beyond its grasp. Here. Well, here as in this plain. Mundus, Hamiel, nearby, relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tarm's Ark. Oftan, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know.